Hi, this is Matt from tracyandmatt.co.uk and for unboxings.com. Here I have one of the latest devices from Asus in its EPC range, the EPC Touch or the T91. I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you. Uh, as you know, we've uh, had a look at many of the small netbook PCs, certainly from Asus and from other manufacturers over the last sort of couple of years. Let's have a look at what the T91 has to offer. First of all, we have the warranty card directly on top. And then the unit itself comes in this kind of uh, kind of fetching pouch, exactly obviously the right size for the netbook itself, which we're going to look at in a bit more detail in just a few moments. We're just going to have a look at what else is in the box. We obviously have a nice this nice pouch, which is uh, actually quite well padded and reasonably attractive, branded with uh, Asus on the front there. We then have a. 16 gig Transcend SDHC memory card, which is quite cool, that is included. We have the DVD-ROM here, which has got your backup and uh, restore and recovery software on. And then we have the manual itself, uh, which is uh, kind, of, uh, kind of lightweight, it's not printed in colour, but fairly basic information in there. Underneath then we have a UK 3.5 pin power cable. And then we actually have the charger itself, which is uh, standard inline style charger. Nothing terribly uh, interesting or exciting in the box itself. So let me move on to the, the T91 then. Firstly, it is, we do have this touchscreen display. It is an 8.9 inch display, 1024 by 600 pixels. As I say, touch sensitive, so effectively we've got a, a tablet here. So we can actually rotate the display and use it as a tablet and obviously we can then rotate the display back and then we have a more conventional uh, style laptop or netbook a uh, fairly large keyboard, QWERTY keyboard quite, tense, uh, quite tactile keys quite condensed over this side and quite crammed in but you know it is a full QWERTY keyboard below that we have the trackpad and obviously the mouse keys a series of buttons and we have the on off switch here so we can just power on and then we have push button here to launch the touch suite looking around the rest on this side we have headphone and microphone socket 3.5mm headphone jack and USB 2.0 USB socket we have an ethernet connector on the back then we also have a VGA output socket so we can output to a normal uh, VGA monitor. We have the DC power cable connector, another USB 2.0 USB socket. Then we have a cover over our memory card reader so we can put in the SD card that's supplied and also uh, M MMC. And then on the front you have an additional card reader for SD, SDHC and MMC. Now we do have Windows XP Home pre-installed and a 16 gig solid state drive coupled with another 16 gig here we can expand up to 32 gig and then we can put another 16 gig in the front card slot so it is an expandable device in that respect so 16 will get you 16 gig will get you uh, so far and obviously then you can expand it with another 16 gig from the memory card which is, uh, is quite useful so let's do a full run down of the specification while we're actually waiting for that to boot up. Obviously, as you can see, there is a crystal, what they call a crystal display, extremely glossy finish to the actual touchscreen display. And it's kind of one of those love-hate things. I actually quite like the glossy screens, but I know, I know that some people actually hate it for the reasons that you can see here um, in that they are extremely reflective. Now, I don't mind that myself and I can kind of get around it and I actually prefer the overall look of a uh, glossy display. But you know, it's one of those personal preference things. Um, obviously, we've got Windows XP Home pre-installed. Um, it has an Intel Atom processor. We're running at 1.33 gigahertz. Wi-Fi built-in is 802.11 BNG. We also have uh, obviously Ethernet connectivity, Bluetooth 2 with EDR support, one gig of RAM. As I say, 16 gig of built-in solid-state drive with another 16 gig with the uh, SDHC memory card we've got there. Two USB ports on uh, one on either side. We also have we also have the card reader, and at the front here, actually, let's just peel off these bits here. 
At the front we do have a forward facing webcam so that we can actually uh, use it for video conferencing and so on. Now it's actually asking me to actually set up the calibration so if I actually spin, spin that round get the keyboard out of the way. We do have a stylus at the top here which is quite large, quite weighty, quite a good, uh, good looking um, sort of stylus here and it's asking me to actually set up display. Um, at the moment it uh, certainly needs calibration that's for sure because uh, it's completely picking up the wrong place that I'm touching. So let's try to kind of work around that and okay, we can pick up okay that's interesting so I've held down that button there for three seconds and we've actually ended up with um, some different icons on the display not terribly easy for you to see here I must apologize because um, the display isn't particularly bright I'm sure that's just something that we can change around uh, but it's not particularly bright and obviously I am in a particularly um, bright space where I'm actually trying to do the videos here so you can see the actual device a little bit more clearly um, but it's not ideal for uh, seeing this uh, glossy display what we'll do is we'll actually come to, when we come to do the full review, we'll actually grab some screenshots and some other bits and pieces for you so you can get to see that in a bit more detail. Um, it is an attractive and lightweight, lightweight uh, netbook and I like the idea of the touch screen. How useful that is uh, we'll come and actually talk about when we come to do the full review. Weighs under one kilo, it's actually 960 grams, so quite lightweight, quite small. I'll be quite happy to carry it around. Um, you carry it around just as it is really quite easily um, obviously you've got the, the case that you can put it in so that is the Asus EPC Touch or the T91 uh, we'll do a full review for you you'll be on tracyandmac.co.uk over the next couple of weeks if you're a fan of the unboxing videos check out the others that we've got on unboxings.com and if you're already looking to purchase the Asus EPC T91 head over to superetrader.co.uk where they're available in stock at the moment in both black and white for only £409.99 including VAT, so quite a bargain, I think that's actually one of the cheapest places in the UK at the moment. So head over to superetrader.co.uk if you're looking to pick one up, and uh, we'll be back soon on tracymac.co.uk with uh, the full review.